Right lads, welcome to Tunis, but as you can see from the title, we're going to be forming Carthage. Or in this case, reclaiming the legacy of Carthage. For that, we need to own less than 12 cities. We need to have Tunis at least 30 development, and we need at least one center of trade level 3. Uh, this one is a level 2, so we need about 1,000 ducats uh, for this. It's a little bit more involved than just sort of clicking a button. This is a mod from uh, my good friend Chewy Shoot or Chewbutt. He has two channels, both of them will be uh, linked in the description as well as this mod. The last mod of his, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, that was the uh, USA one, so I'm sure I'm going to have a good time here, especially when it's focused around my people. So let's get it going. Um, obviously, the first thing we're going to be doing is raiding. Uh, I'm, I'm confused as to where I should go with this. I could potentially drop the cities now and, like, have uh, a vassal and sort of play tall-ish. Or I could go on a mad conquest to try and get the money. I think we'll play it by ear here. If I have at least five light ships, then I get loads of claims. Is it worth it? Well, we can privateer and stuff later. It's never a bad idea to build light ships. Well, sometimes it is. But in the interest of saving money, we're going to get rid of uh, some forts. Some of whom are actually quite useful. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, Clemson. We've got Portugal. And we've got Genoa. We'll get some efficient tax farming going. And let's get someone raiding. All right, we've got to raid all these like valuable areas before the Moroccans and uh, Fazan get there first. Back in the day, you used to be able to just get the vassalization day one, but not anymore. Can't quite ally the Ottomans just yet, which is strange, because usually we can. Ah, oh, they've already been raided by the bloody Fazanis. Let's see, can we get Valencia? No way. This is the issue with a bunch of these guys. We've, we've sort of gotten all the money we're going to get. Okay, you are allied to Mazab. God, Lemson. Honestly, I think we go around a conquer. Just raid some money from them, you know? Just a little bit. We still have like 700 ducats to go. All right, let's go ahead, take their cash. Let me get a general here just to be sure. He's got a two-star general. We've got Construct a Corsair Fleet, which gives us, well, claims on Tlemcen, really. <laughs> Could get the Moroccans to go in on them. Again, land is not what we want, though. We kind of want to shed land. Although, taking Tlemcen as a vassal, not the worst idea in the world. Although, I could release Algiers as a vassal and then go off to Tlemcen, which is probably a better idea. I think it's a better idea. Betray the Moroccans. How many men do you even have? The issue is he's allied to Tokurta and Fazan, which is, like, annoying. Okay, here's the plan. Super piece. Take the land. Take the 15 ducats. There we go. We are going to vassalize Gadamas. Not Gadamas, Jared. And then march in on this lot without having to fight the Tlemcen, and then we'll fight Tlemcen. That's the that's the idea. Because I need him as a vassal. Anyway, 20 ducats, boys. <laughs> We're rich. All right, murderous troops. I'm so glad there's not enough time passed that he's able to build a fort. So we'll get a new government type, right? Does not have heirs. So if I can do it quickly enough, I won't have this guy in charge. This, uh... Mm, I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking a 201 being in charge. I don't quite know how the government type works. <laughs> Give all this to our vassal. And now it's just this guy. See, a 422. All right, we're going to attack you, call in Tlemcen, conquer this area, and hopefully vassalize Tlemcen as well, perhaps. I kind of want to. I think Algiers is a better shout. I really do. Okay, let's do that because we have to give away this land anyway. Release Algiers and attack you, co belligerent you. Reconquest. Let's go. Ah, I liked it. That's annoying. My concern is that two-star general. That was also another one of my concerns. Because it means I can't take everything from Tlemcen. Which is a shame, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Ugh, they're going to take everything. <laughs> Even the Castilians are getting involved. What is this? There we go. Hand that stuff off to my vassal. He's just going to get a partition now. Pacify the Berbers. National nurse minus two. Lovely. Right, has Renaissance happened yet? It has not. I'm waiting for that so I can begin my development process. Where? Okay, so we'll just guard this passage, I suppose. Realistically, I, I think I'm going to do that just because I'm not going to be able to get anything anyway. So we'll uh, we'll piece up with this. All right. And then to my vassals, Algiers, I need to give you Talat Imsan. And then Jared, I need to give you Lavoat and Mazab. Oh, let's quickly ally the Ottoman. <laughs> We'll rival the Mamluks, and we're going to rival the Aragonese. Now, I'd love to be developing at this point, but Renaissance still hasn't spawned. <laughs> so I kind of have to wait. I'm going to already in 54. Ordinarily, I'd go, you know, gain his stability, but... Yeah, gold. <laughs> Renaissance! What's this? And Aragon's getting less powerful. This is ideal for us. If I hit a thousand ducats, I am going to be developing regardless of if there's Renaissance or not. There we go. God, that took a bloody while, didn't it? Go keep developing right. We have 30. Close to getting Renaissance now. I will be developing Renaissance, to be honest. And then next year, we should raid enough to be able to get us out of the situation. Oh, God, I missed raiding season. But can you raid? Damn it. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> like, raiding is great until other Berbers start raiding. Fortunately, we sort of have this area on lockdown since I killed Fazan. 
Wait, Jared, can you can't raid, can you? He can, he can, he can. I made the problem worse. I made the problem worse. Uh, there's nowhere I got to. I can get to, like, Iberia. And then I'll give away. That's Zora and Thakbath. So, Jared, Grant Province, Thakbath, Grant Province, Zora. Now, it says here, own less than 12 cities. It doesn't update until the end of the month. I may or may not have found that out the hard way. So, let's give Tatooine over as well. Here we go. Right. Reclaim the legacy of Carthage. Also, there's a spelling mistake there, Chewie. <laughs> All right. We are green. We no longer have the Ichta government type. We have the Punic government, which gives us plus one merchants, minus 10%. Is that light shit? Or just general shit? Plus mercenary empire plus 50% and naval tradition from battles plus 50%. Excellent. On this one, obviously, we're going to be taking Ashman Power Modifier. We've got a sick flag. Very happy with that. We get the struggle between the Sufetis and the Adirim. So here's the thing, uh, Chewie in his little uh, mod description has promised uh, historical tidbits. And I do enjoy the fact that he's got the Sufetis and the uh, Durham here. He's, he's, he, I, I enjoy that, I respect that. Also our culture has switched over to Phoenician. So if the Sufetis are in charge, then we get uh, Reform Progress Growth, Yearly Prestige and Global Trade Power. And if the Durham are in charge, then National Unrest, Leaders Well Upkeep and Development Cost. I do like that. Hmm. That development cost is good, I think. We we'll probably be chasing that down. We also get Punic ideas, so we can't raid coast anymore, which sucks. Um, so we get global trade power plus 10%, morale thing is very naval focused. Uh, galley combat ability plus 15%, uh, galley cost minus 10%, trade efficiency, cavalry combat ability plus 20%, damn. Goods produced, yearly prestige, force limit, uh, and basically more naval stuff, more naval tradition battles, it's gonna be 100%, we're gonna have always full naval tradition, awesome. Technology cost minus 10%. And Province War School costs minus 10% as well. So not much on the land side of things, but we also get a custom mission tree. So prepare an invasion force, uh, which is going to give us some claims. Do we get our, do we get to keep our tenute claims? We do. Okay, good. So first, we can establish a power base on at least 20 cities. So we shrunk and now we grow. And then we get some events. Oh, I'm so excited for this. All right, I'm not going to spend too long looking at these. I'm just going to do them. I think that's the way to do it. Have at least seven galleys and army size at least 100% of the force limit. Is it not already? Oh, four, five, four. Yes, please. Uh, we have a lot of merchants, but we don't have a uh, a base to do it from, really. Um, no ability to steer trade two. Tunis itself is not a good trade node. Uh, so I'm going to keep just transferring trade power to increase our collection abilities by... And we're still Sunni. But I was promised by Chewie that we have a special little religion coming up. We are going to be going in against the Aragonese pretty soon. Quite well placed for this. Ah, it renames stuff to Thapsus, Utica, Thala. Maktar, Cathago, nice. Oh, I, I'm, I feel like a child. I'm giddy. I love seeing new stuff like this. All right, prepare an invasion force. So we get a bunch of claims. I think those are the existing ones we get from the Tunis Mission Tree. Dominate North Africa. Sweet. So for 20 years, manpower recovery speed. I'll always take that. And more claims. Nice. Masters of the Maghreb. Also, all of these have flavor text. We set our sides across the sea to the isles previously controlled by our ancestors with extravagant ideas of ports and harbors to drive toward Roma and beyond from there. A local power base is required to recruit strong warriors for, for armies and navies. If we wish to reclaim the prestige of Carthage, we must start at home. Here, we need to conquer Morocco. Subjugation casts a spell on all nations with their capital in the Maghreb region. Subjugation casts a spell on all nations with their capital in the Maghreb region. Brilliant. Here, we need to have 20 cities. Revive Libayum. Okay. I see no reason why we shouldn't just immediately go to war with the Aragonese. We beat him navally. And he's currently in uh, Naples, which means he won't be able to get his troops back. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, two heavies versus our galleys. Oh, we don't have Tunisian ideas anymore, so our galleys aren't as potent. Okay, we're going to need galley combat ability. I don't know if we can beat that. We only have seven galleys. He has more galleys than me. Okay, we're going to take out some loans. And we're going to build up a galley fleet. Because Tunisian ideas start with, like, a hell of a lot of galley combat ability. Okay, it looks like Naples is actually taking back this land. I don't know how they're doing that. They must have beaten the Aragonese. Oh, okay, there are 14,000 Aragonese troops over there. Might as well start annexing this vassal. Uh, Duchies, Prince of the Crown. I want to get the annexation cost. Don't think it's possible right now. All right, let's give this a go, shall we? Declare war for Kala. Moroccans will just come in. Makes my life easier. All right, we've engaged him navally. Ah, oh, galleys in the med. Galleys in the med. Always a pleasure. All right, another little naval battle. Go and blitz him. And there goes the Aragonese fleet. Uh, we do not need you. Uh, and to be honest, I'm going to get rid of my light ships as well. Because, yeah, that's going to be a painful uh, amount of ducats to spend on fleet maintenance. Okay, he's got 11,000 troops. I can land 10,000. I think I will land 10,000. Where shall I land? Probably in Barcelona. I'll wait until he wins that, and then I'll go in. Because I do want the Neapolitans to be hurt here. Yep. 
Blitzed it. He's done. Keep landing men, please. Because this is where it gets dicey. Right, we've got Miltech 5. And that, by the way, was to bait him into coming off of the mountain fort so we can fight him here. Let's keep scorching the earth and moving. Right, let's put some of this money to good use and grab ourselves the free company as well, just to doubly make sure. We do have a Miltech ahead of him, but why are we risking these things? He's locked in in the mountains against me, or hills. Come on. Excellent. Fight him in the mountains there. And now we need to siege. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. Uh, just because I want to destroy this navy because I'm greedy. Oh, that's what I was meant to do. Uh, in order to usher in a new era of prosperity, we were going to launch the Renaissance in our capital. And then I completely forgot about all of that. Good job, Blake. <laughs> right, can we hire up and win this? We are hemorrhaging money. We can't raid uh, coast anymore, so that's not a viable source of income. Yeah, you could take that route, or instead, and hear me out here, you could just hop on a ship and go. All right, I think you pieced out with Naples. All right, we've won that mountain fort, and now we just keep pushing a little bit further. I'm going to scorch the earth up here on the mountain fort, just in case they decide to do something about it. No, no, that was good. That was good. Stay there. Stay, 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 stay. Where are you going? I'm actually going to get a bit cocky here, and I'm going to remove 9,000 men from the equation to go and take this lot down here. I can't help you. Messed that one up, didn't you? I didn't actually click the annex um, vassal button. <laughs> I thought I was annexing him the entire time. Wow. Okay. He will like me. Okay, well, let's take Valencia. There we go. It right, would lead to a significant coalition, but kind of okay with that. Let's have a look. So, revival Libeum. That gives me claims on Western Mediterranean Islands. And that will give me just loads of stuff. I like loads of stuff. And I get some ducats. That works for me. There we go. We've reclaimed some islands. Let's do it. Establish a power base. Oh, nice. Almost 2,000 years later, people still speak of the incredible sight that the Cothorn of Carthage was, projecting power and prowess into the Mediterranean from the ports of Carthage. It was destroyed after the Punic Wars by the Romans. Classic. The Romans are no more. And to take up the mantle of Carthage was to rebuild their legacy. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, we just build it. Nice. What does that give us? Trade value modifier and local sailors. And what's like the max? May raid coasts. May raid coasts. <laughs> this is an investment now. All right, revive Lily Bayum, which gives us mystery strength. What do I need over here? Oh, I, don't, I haven't taken Corsica. You lose 10 years of separatism. Okay, I've got to do that, don't I? Maybe the Ottomans would come in, which would obviously help. Oh, nice, become a great power. Sweet. And there's the coalition. All right, let's rival Castile, and let's rival Morocco, to be honest. Uh, I kind of want to do this early, because they're probably going to join a coalition against me. Yeah, so they'll join a coalition against me, which means which would lock me out of this, but I really want that for the... Ten, minus 10 years of separatism. So I think we're going to declare war now and call in the Ottomans. Let's do it. Don't need the Europeans to calm down, please. I'm only trying to conquer... Oh, God. The, the free company. Got to get rid of that. Don't need the Europeans to calm down. I only want to conquer one island. One tiny little island. Who are the French fighting? French conquest of Avenue. Yeah, he's fighting the Pope. Go fight him. If we could not let people flood into our lands, that would be amazing. Wait, actually. Excuse me, I'm just... I'm just an exiled bunch of lads just trying to go home. Not going to murder your compatriots or anything. Oh, whoops. Sorry, just did. <laughs> whoops. No, no, please come in. I insist. <laughs> Let me make sure there's no one behind you. Ah, see, he's sneaky. <laughs> so, uh, you going to do anything at all? No, I really thought you'd, thought you'd try something at least. <laughs> Maybe go land on Cyprus, Ottomans? And I still didn't get <laughs> annexed to Sharon. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, I'm actually great power. I didn't even realize. Gotta turn up, pick the parts of the siege that are my rivals, and then move on. Dude, I'm happy for you to go on to... No, really, the, the one thing the Ottomans do is blockade the straits that I need them to cross so I can stack with their armies. The Ottomans have been worse than bad in this war. They've been very detrimental to the war effort. Dude, let them go across. I just want Corsica, man. I'm gonna march all the way through Italy. Just to go stand on Genoa and knock them down to low, I think. There you go. The Theodora one just wants to come out. Wait, did the Ottomans occupy him? I <laughs> did. Oh, you did something. Okay, fair enough. Take Corsica, take the money. Yeah, 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 coalition, whatever. Oh, I forgot to check this. So Syracuse, Masana, Fintias, Soluntum, Lilibeum. Nice. Very pleased with that. Conquer the Isles. There we go. For 50 years. Missionary strength minus 3%. No, plus 3%. 50 years. Hell yeah. And that should get rid of basically well, a lot of the uh, separatism, which is nice. Right, and that gives us more claims around the joint. All right, so Dinian Separatist is going to rise up. I want to fight them now, so then I can go stand in Sicily. Let's provoke. You have the audacity to call me into war after you did nothing. Dude, dude oh, ships are actually doing all right. <laughs> okay, they retreated the wrong way. Other than that, I could probably beat that navy. If I leave the cogs behind, I could probably beat it. Go, 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 go. Nice, okay. <laughs> that could have been bad. 
What's your navy like? Yeah, 13 uh, galleys, so I should just go chill with you. Really want to fight this, don't you? Yeah, I want to heal up my navy a bit more first. But I am beating him. I'll nip out, kill two cogs. All right, we can make you into a state. Wonderful. All right, let's nip out and see what damage we can do to these navies. Four uniforms. Nice. Make sure I leave behind my cogs. Then I see the Venetian navy somewhere. Go on, where are you? Sidon in Crete. We go to Sicilian separatists somewhere in Messina. Wonderful. Best possible province. Defended mountains. Thank you very much. Looks like the Moroccans got badly beaten by the, uh, got badly beaten by the Castilians. When's our truce up? Pretty much soon. Oh, naval battle. There we go. Excellent. That's how it's done. But also, don't give me your worthless ships. <laughs> I almost deleted my entire navy there instead of just this one cog. That would have been a very, very bad mistake. All right, I think I'm going to go after the Moroccans. They are a mil tech behind, two mil techs behind. It shouldn't be too much of a challenge. All right, it's nice little siege affairs. Let's make sure we do not hurt the Moroccan separatists. You guys are loyal? You are not. I need to own all these territory. So for this, my development has to have grown by at least 100, and we have beaten a, a great power in a war in the last five years. So we'll probably go after the Mamluks for that one. What is this? Ottomans, what is this? What is this? Thank you. Deal with your problems. It's all the non-European Moroccan stuff. So literally all of this. I'm trying to understand this. So all those areas, yeah, all good. Any country total development less than 50 is a subject of Carthage. Then I get subjugation on all of them. So I have to have all of these guys as my vassals? Wait, I think I can do that. If I just take this, they will become my vassals. Oh, this is, oh, this is going to get messy. Oh, no. Goodbye, my 1k stack. I knew you well. I didn't. I sent you in to die. Carthage was a multicultural place, so we're going to be role-playing that, and we're going to go for a decentralized bureaucracy. Part of that, we're going to take Sicilian as an accepted culture. I only did that so I can revoke one of these things. It's probably right of council, uh, because I want this. Otherwise, I would not have done that. So 99%. Full annexation, right? I want to hand all this stuff over to Algiers. Problem fed. I'll take fed myself. And then I hand off to Algiers. Remember this land used to be uh, plus 50% core uh, creation cost modifier. It was horrible. As far as I'm aware, I'm going to be annexing Morocco here. Which means that I'm going to get all these guys as vassals? Yeah. So now we have uh, <laughs> a bunch of vassals. Um, did we get to complete our mission? All provinces in the north. I have to own these, this stuff from Castile. Okay. But we got these guys as vassals for free, so that's nice. I'd say for free as if I didn't have to <laughs> annex Morocco for them. But yeah, you're all going to be disloyal. That's okay. Finally start annexing you. But for the most part, we do own North Africa. So that's cool. <laughs> but I say for the most part, I've got this one little thing, big girl. We're all close to being like loyal. So if I get a Diplo rep guy, they might actually become loyal. Oh, that's close. Over time, maybe. All right, group of ideas. I'm going to go straight in for that influence idea. Although to be fair, actually, it's probably smarter to go not uh, to go a military idea considering how far ahead we are. Um... Like the idea of defensive or naval dominate the seas really compliments are yeah we're doing that naval ideas we're gonna dominate the seas 25 percent combat galley combat ability it helps with our or it compounds nicely with our naval ideas already from our national ideas so who has a claim on this i do and you do taff left left i'm gonna send my troops up to go and deal with the corsican rebels and then i think we are going to attempt to go after castile in fact, Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Portugal first. Whilst they're split. Because 25% galley combat ability is not a joke. Plus our existing 15%. Over here in the Straits of Gibraltar, bit dicey, but 50% more damage. We could probably swing that. It's a very weird nation we've got going on. I like it. It's very, it's, it's interesting. We're weak, but strong. Like we own North Africa, but our vassals don't see it that way. We're not that strong economically. Our trade is just, it just sucks. You're allied, you're allied to France. Okay. Um, I don't think the plan changes. I think we still fight them. I'm calling the Ottomans. Okay. Ooh. If I get to call them the Ottomans, why would I not go after the big dog? I'll do that. What do I declare war for? Gharb. Okay. That's good. I need to rely on the Ottomans to defend my flank here. And I don't think that they will. <laughs> See if I can nip there, destroy the Aragonese navy and nip back before the Castilians actually head over here. Ah. Uh, did I catch anything? I don't think I did. All right. Get back. Oh, I caught something. Tiny little fleet. What's that? Oh, that's four heavies. Come on, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Did I get one? I got one. That's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll fight that. Easy. Just destroyed two heavies. Thank you very much. Get myself another naval idea. Galley combat ability plus 15%. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> the Carthaginians rule the waves. It's, it's, it's done. Really? Really? You couldn't, you couldn't stop the Venetians from taking one stupid province, man. One little sea tile. You couldn't do that. 
You couldn't do that for me. Let's go destroy these navies. To be fair, I don't think we need all of our galleys in one place. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another 10,000 troops or 1,000 at least to start with. Take back these lands. Three heavies versus... Okay, I need to get rid of the cogs. They so caught him. Bloody, you gotta send your navy out. I know you have one. I can't be in all these different places at once. Is there an army there? Why is it saying there's gonna be a battle? It's weird. What tech are you? Four. Tech six. This is good. All right, I need to ship all of you over to Messina as fast as humanly goddamn possible. Oh my god. Ottomans, please. All right, what do we do now? I don't, I'm not like, oh, excellent. That helps. I'll grab some more states. Does that mean you guys loyal? No. Great if you guys could all flood across. All right, you know what? We're going to spend our prestige. There you go. It's 100 prestige gone to make you guys all flood across. across. Okay, now I have to somehow deal with you. Okay, I'm going to scorch the earth here. So even bait him onto it. He's got a 1-5. Okay, we'll take a 4-2. I'm actually going to send some ships back to hopefully clear the way for you guys to come in. <gasps> oh my god, the Ottomans have turned up. And they got nowhere to run, boys. It was worth the sacrifice. It was worth it. Oh, that's not... That's not good. <laughs> oh, we won. Oh, the boys helped me. Nice. We need the ability to, to retreat across the strait. <laughs> that did not go up. <laughs> Still blame the Ottomans. Right, we need a concerted effort here, boys. Push across the strait. Into the mountain fort. Block the mountain fort. Let's go. Reclaiming the lands of our ancestors, boys. No, that's not good. <laughs> Grab ourselves some war taxes. See if we can stave off loans for as long as possible. Ugh. That's also all loyal, but they don't want to do anything. <laughs> they were loyal before. I just need to make sure I'm controlling both sides of the strait. It's the main thing. All right, quick. Hurry back to the mountain fort. Blitz it. All right. Well, we got off the mountain fort at least. I think I'll take that, to be honest. 300 ducats, pays off my loans, take the two provinces, or the, you know, the provinces I need. Gives us our route into Africa. Gives us our route into Iberia. I'll take it. Nova Carthago is being established. Start annexing our vassals again. All right, Algiers is the first to go. I'm to rival Denmark, that'll help me. I think I'll wait for them in Lily Bayham, to be honest. Ah, wonderful, this is what we're waiting for. A revival of the Punic Pantheon. As Carthago grows, many older ruins are uncovered. Many aspects of the Carthage of antiquity is uncovered and we learn more about our heritage where we came from. The ancient Canaanite beneath belief system, our scholars, our scholars, new province has been converted. Here we go. So for 10 years, we get a missionary and mystery strength. Lose two stability, but we get the Punic Pantheon. Stability of at least one, and we can get stability cost modified minus 20%. Right, we can choose a deity that we have here. Melkart, Baal, Tanit, Rashef. Oh, this is so cool. Tanit giving us mystery strength is probably the first thing we should probably do. Otherwise, I do like the look of this aggressive expansion impact one. Nice and purple. Right, we are going to go for expansionist zealotry for obvious reasons. Right, we're going to go ahead and declare war on the Portuguese and see if we can claim the last of the North African holdouts. We're also going to try and prevent the British Navy from, or the English Navy at this point, from ferrying any troops over because I fully back our fleet. So I'm going to challenge the English Navy in open sea, which... Maybe not the best idea, but we'll see. Combined, they have 10 heavies. I have 18 galleys that I'm going to try and make this work with. Hmm, interesting. Golden era from Portugal. Come, my North African brothers. Why am I, what, Genoa? Oh, because of Naxos. Brilliant. Oh, nice. Thank you, Ottomans. I was about to be very upset. Also, in the meantime, I've been doing a very good job of converting all our lands. Uh, most of the high development stuff is still yet to do, but we're doing all right. Ah! This is just constantly under siege. I should probably have kept my fort there, man. I just had, was having like significant money problems. To be honest, I also didn't think that the Ottomans would be calling me into war every six seconds to do with the Italians. Oh, taking Avora before we've taken Ceuta. Wonderful. I won't actually make that in time. Alright, 63% religious unity. When does our Pantheon revived thing end? 89. Ugh, that's gonna be a slow going after that. Fact. We have a Defender of the Faith? No, it doesn't because we're pagans. He's locked in. This is going to be painful, boys. But we move. Oh, it's not because we missed him. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, there he is. All right, we've got to time this right. Get out of there. Can you get there? Nope, we've just been absolutely rinsed. Wonderful. He's just murdered my cogs. On the bright side, the English don't seem to be helping. So that, that's good. Send away our cogs because they're not going to help us. So we are literally going to go 18 versus 18, only he has four heavies. <laughs> that's okay. Because I back 
our fleet. Let's see if I'm correct, shall we? There we go. Chuck in the extras now. Hopefully we can nail one or two Garricks. I've got one for eight. That was a poor trade. All right, back to the drawing board there then, boys. It's fine. I'll build another 11. Jesus, he held us there as well. What's my true up with you? 1490. Kind of close. This is all one tr thing, though. I, I would love to take it. There's nothing more I can take. All right, well, if you're going, I'll go in. English here. Which one? Oh, I can't, I can't tell where they are. <laughs> it's not fair. They can just disappear. I'm actually going to go ahead and trigger a golden era. Why not? Our truce has ended, so what do you say to leave me not taking that? Okay. I'll take these two. Take the money, which is kind of, be kind of important. Get rid of your alliance with England, and I'll come back later. Okay, I would rather you got rid of the alliance with England. Okay, there we go. Now we can do Masters of Maghreb, which gives us claims on Lower Andalusia. We've got a worthy navy as well. Ugh. I can't let that happen. Fortunately, the Ottomans will come in as well. Let's do it. Operation Save the Portuguese. You want to give me access? All right, well, I, I tried. We have a Miltic ahead of him. Give me a minute. Would you give me military access? Nope. Brilliant. Well, I'm trying to save you here, Chief. You're not making it easy for yourself. All right. I'm going to mark... Uh, I'm going to send my ships up and try and blitz the Venetian fleet, and then I'll come back. Yeah, they don't want to be blitzed. Okay. Let's go back and blockade. Oh, I've got another... Don't give me a heavy. I don't want it. Uh, uh, what have you got there? Okay. My guys have, like, another 10,000 on me. So we've got about 25,000 there. 16,000 there. Very happy for them to split up. Just going to focus on winning these sieges. I love the fact that he looks like he's about to win that siege before I win the blockaded, breached mountain fort. Yeah, I'm not letting you go after that mountain fort, buddy. Of course he won that siege immediately. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? Oh, yep, the Portuguese are under a uh, Percy Union. That's fun. How fun is that, guys? That's that's just so... It's so fun. I love that. It's just it's great. So cool. I have to fight all of Iberia every time I want to do something now. Probably nip in and kill that army to be honest. It's dry lands, but I'm happy for him not to. Are you like loyal? You're completely loyal. Like you wouldn't even think of rebelling. Which of course makes a lot of sense considering you were fiercely independent just 15 minutes ago. Right, I'm gonna go position my navy on the, on the Straits of Messina because I'm not about to have a round two occur. Also, I'm gonna hope the Ottomans can do something here. Oh, the Ottomans are going around. Interesting. I expect that from them. So I think I broke the eye. He's just sort of sitting there. Like he occasionally makes moves. <laughs> He's doing stuff around here. But he's not doing much else. Oh, no, they've shifted up a province. Oh, what's this? Another mission. Carthage reborn. Hell yeah. Gain general with 100 tradition and we can upgrade to a kingdom. Ah! Oh, Marhabal Muthunbal. Ah, oh, what a name! What a legend! I'll get rid of this 3-0. Uh, uh, we siege him right now, so I can't. But I will do it. <laughs> I really want these pretend rebels to succeed. Don't kill them, please. I'm attempting to get out the war now, just to make sure they survive. Nope, the Ottomans have killed them. Okay. Thanks for the siege, though. <laughs> Appreciate that. I gotta go take Lisboa, don't I, as well? Oh my god. Honestly, this, this union thing is absolute filth. And the thing is, you know that if I spend the war score to break it, you know, and I'm over here like, oh, cancel Aragon. You know he's just going to ally him immediately afterwards, so there's no point. I just got lucky he's not allied France. The Portuguese did for a little while. <laughs> Love this three-star general. Great lad, always rated him. Because of course Naples is a person union in France, why wouldn't he? Why would he not? Why? Just just explain to me why that wouldn't be the case. I need to have an army of 100,000 troops in order to do that next. But I get claims on regions though, which is pretty fun. I'm sure I just blitz the navy. I'm going to go ahead and blow up this fort. And hope the Castilians don't murder me. I enjoy the fact that I can promote Tunisian culture. Like, we've completely forgotten. We're Phoenicians. We're not Tunisians. There it is, 92. We destroyed a navy there. And they'll let us peace out. Excellent. We've taken Punic Iberia. That's what you want to see. And 102% of our extension. That's, that's less good. Um, can we concentrate development? Thank you. Does that put us under 100? It does, just about. Okay. Okay, I know you're a little bit confused. Thank you. Get on my lads. All right, I think it's time to switch over our trade capital to Sevilla. Admiral worth his title. Hell yeah, gain an admiral with 50 tradition. We'll take that. That's 50 tradition. It's got five maneuver. Oh my god, we're going to destroy everyone. All right, let's go. we don't need the carrot. France is a bit of a beast this game. He's not only unified his lands, he has a personal union over Naples. He's made the Burgundian succession basically completely irrelevant because, well, look at him. 
And now he's landed in in Ireland? <laughs> well, the Garden in Succession happened and he chose the Von Hausbergs, but it looks like the French are in London. <laughs> Establish Nova Cartago. We got permanent claims all over Iberia. The French have taken London. Also, we did make sure to take their gold mine. So that'll help. France declared war on Austria succession war. Burgundian succession war. And he's taken French Wessex. Jesus, I've never seen a France this aggressive. My god, he released most of Ireland as well. But he took land. Oh, England's so screwed. Right, well, um, I think that's where we'll leave it for today, boys. Uh, you definitely need to go and check out this mod and definitely check out uh, Chewy Shoots channels in the description down below. Uh, there's also something else I wanted to try and do today, but I wasn't quite able to manage it. If I have at least 20 cavalry and I have this land up here, then we get crossing the Alps, which gives us cavalry to infantry ratio plus 50%, which means that we can go cavalry only with a lot of nice, nice modifiers as Carthage. Um, and also uh, your models, your unit models turn to elephants if you get ivory, which is great. So yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, and if you did enjoy, please do make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons. Most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsinger. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.